Hey guys, what's up? I'm Dr. Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. And as you guys can see, I have short hair right now. So if you guys are my OG followers and you follow me on Instagram, Lindsay Butzer DBM, you would know that I was diagnosed with leukemia in January of 2020. So I have been through a crazy year this year on top of the pandemic going on with COVID. It has definitely been a lot. So this video is very special to me because this is the first time that I'll be posting on my YouTube channel wearing no wig and just my natural hair that has grown in after chemotherapy. So this is my hair after about three to four months um, after ending my chemo in around June. So this is what it looks like. And you guys can comment below if you like this hairstyle and you want me to stop wearing the wigs or wear the wigs for some videos. I'd like to hear and read what you guys think. Um, I also wanna say thank you to Zymox Products who are sponsoring this video and they have stood by me throughout my entire chemotherapy treatment. Um, I had to travel to Texas, I went to MD Anderson and they continued to sponsor me and my posts and my videos on YouTube throughout my treatment there. So a big thank you to them. They are an awesome family owned business and you guys should definitely try Zymox for your pets at home. And I especially want to thank all of my subscribers for sticking by my side through this hard year and continuing to subscribe to my channel. My channel has been growing so much. I'm so proud and so thankful to have all of you here. So let's jump right into it now. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to give a cat a bath. And with me, I have Stanley. He is the famous rag doll on Instagram and YouTube. He has a YouTube video owning a rag doll that's almost at 200,000 views right now. It's probably grown more than that. But Stanley is a ginormous rag doll cat. Let me get the size for you guys to see him. And this is him at his finest. He is a beautiful rag doll cat. He actually came from Russia, so I imported him from Russia. He is beautiful and he is my male cat for my small cattery that I have. I have three females that I breed and I'll put that link below for you guys to check out. Um, if you guys are interested in ragdoll kittens, you can um, see when I have a next litter coming. But today we're gonna give him a bath. He totally needs it. He's very dusty and he has a couple mats because he's a long haired cat. So no cats like getting bathed. And you guys can talk to your veterinarian about possibly prescribing some sort of anti-anxiety medication before you give your cats a bath. Um, a common one that's used is called gabapentin. So that comes in a liquid form and you can give it to your cat like 30 minutes before you plan on bathing them. Um, there are other types of anti-anxiety meds, so just talk to your veterinarian about that. So before I get started with the bath, I'm gonna cut Stanley's nails so he doesn't completely claw me to death during his bath. Because like I said earlier, cats do not enjoy baths. So I'm gonna quickly cut his nails which are very long. And there is another cat in here that you could probably hear who is not very happy. Okay, so now I'm gonna put Stanley in one of the grooming tubs to soak him using a hose. A good way that you guys can soak down your cats quickly because you wanna get these baths done fast is having a big cup ready to dump water on them so that you can easily get all the suds off them and get them wet and just, it's a faster way of giving them a bath. I also have a video on a scruff and cradle technique with cats. So before you give your cat a bath, I would make sure you are confident 
scruffing them because they hate water and that is the safest way to restrain your cat during a bath. Okay guys, drum roll. We're gonna do this fast, get ready for some action. I'm gonna get my scruff technique in gear here before we start. So I'm scruffing Stanley so that he feels more secure and comfortable because he is not gonna like this. There we go. And he's not gonna like this. So I gotta go fast, okay? No cats like that. Bottom line, I let go a little bit to get underneath him. I know, I know, it's okay. All right, so he, he is soaked now. I'm gonna get the shampoo. I'm gonna just dump this on him, all right? So I'm gonna put a lot on him. He has a lot of fur, so he can use quite a good amount of this. I forget how big Stanley is, you guys. He is huge. He's about 18 pounds and a lot of fluff. I know, this is not fun, not fun. So I probably bathe Stanley once a year. He is very healthy, he grooms himself, and this is his once a year bathing to make himself feel clean, and then he can go back and doing his own grooming jobs. But if you guys have cats that have skin problems or hot spots or you just rescued from outside that need a bath, this is how you're gonna do it. All right. I'm getting that stud tail, which Stanley has a video on his stud tail. You guys can watch that video to learn more about it. It's just not like this. You can comment below if your cats like getting baths. I know sphinxes sometimes like getting a bath. The other thing you can do is if you have a tub that fills up, I would fill up your tub and then put your cat in the tub. That's another really easy way to get them fully wet and to clean off their shampoo once you've sudsed them up. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and rinse him off. He's had enough of this. Yeah, he does not like this. No, no, no. You're okay. He's actually been really being really good. Okay, I have someone assisting me because a lot of times you can't do this by yourself and you need help giving a cat a bath. So thank you, Tara. <laughs> All right, and we're quickly drying him off with a towel. So that's definitely something you want to have ready, is some towels <laughs> when you give them a bath. Okay. Oh. There we go, he's an angry man. I actually have some cat allergies, so bathing Stanley does help me alleviate my allergies but I don't do it that much because as you can see, he hates it. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this blow dryer on Stanley to dry him faster. You can also leave them at the groomer with a blow dryer on them in a safe cage where they can dry slowly. But I'm gonna do a fast dry method with him right now. He is probably not gonna like this. So I'm gonna go ahead. for watching this video on how to give your cat a bath. This is the end of our video in this super busy grooming room. If you guys like this video, please share it with your friends. 
please hit that like button and hit the bell to get notifications for when I post more videos.